Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free edition for the weekend uh, of the 26th and 27th. This is for March 28th, 2016. As you see, it's about 8.03 p.m. is what we're uh, doing is this is a little later edition. I usually do it obviously on Thursday or Friday. We had the holidays over the weekend. I had a meeting in Austin, so I just got back. So this is the best time for me to be able to do it. Sorry it wasn't out earlier. So just so you know, what we saw in the market over on Thursday was this. We saw the typical behavior you get after some kind of geopolitical event like we had last Tuesday. What you get is caution on Thursday, Wednesday, caution on Thursday, holiday and Friday, nothing bad happens over the uh, weekend. What do you get? You get the ES is tonight up 475. Basically what we got on the close on Friday was this. Yeah, the ES is doing this. And let me go back and recap what exactly happened in here. And basically, you got this. You got the market basically flattening out. So what you got was weakness, weakness, intraday. What you got was this. You had a steady improvement in the advanced decline line as the day went on. What do I mean by that is this. I watched the advanced decline line when I intraday trade and I watch it versus the ESs. And what you see in here is this. You wanna see the ESs, and I'm gonna take off the advanced, uh, everything else for a second. And what you wanna see in here is the ESs, as they slowly rally during the day, you wanna see the advanced decline slowly rally, which is exactly what you saw. You don't wanna see the market rally and the advanced declines just flatline like down 2,000, down 1,000. Instead, this time, if you actually zoom out, you got this, where you got the advanced decline slowly improving all the day until it got to basically zero. You got the futures close up about a one, and that's exactly what it was indicating, that the advanced decline all day was stronger than the overall market. Then you got the little pop on the very close on, uh, on Thursday, and you got the market unchanged. So where does that put us now? Well, a couple of things. It's always difficult to look at the market when you have a holiday in there because it looks like there are big gaps in here. So let's go over exactly what the market looks like from a longer term perspective. You want to take the ESs in here. And as you see on here, what you get is you have negative divergence on the left. But the problem is negative divergence is the last priority. The first priority is moving averages and chart patterns. Chart patterns, number one, moving averages, and ATR trailing stop, number two. As you see, the ESs are above every single moving average. So right now, the benefit of the doubt is on the bull side. The way this works is right now, we're in the buyback blackout period for a lot of stocks that are in the S&P. So what that means is you start getting more volatility. What do I mean by that? That now... If you get like a 15 minute ATR trailing stop sell signal, you get a lot more violent moves on the downside when companies can't buy back their own stock. So the whole idea is obviously there's some companies that still can buy back their stock. There are other ones that couldn't buy it back two weeks ago. I'm talking about the big meat of the S&P 500, the biggies in there, the Googles, the Amazons, the Apples, the, uh, uh, the Expedias. All of them can't buy back their stock. So that's why when you see the ESs have this kind of ATR trailing stop sell signal, you get these big sell-offs, then you come back. The whole idea that a lot of people, I mentioned it on Benzinga Radio on a Thursday, on Friday, CBS Market Watch mentioned about buybacks. On Monday and Tuesday, Bloomberg, Zero Hedge, and Forbes mentioned about buybacks could lead to weakness in the market. And I said, no, everybody's got it wrong. It doesn't mean we go down. It means the probability is that a bearish chart could has a higher probability of working in that environment. And that's all it means. It doesn't mean you have to go down. That's why when I show this Expedia in here, and I show back here when it could, uh, let me zoom out, when it could buy back their stock, in this area here and all these people were saying, well, I guess this trend line isn't gonna work. I'm like, wait till the day they can't buy, uh, buy back their stock. And sure enough, it went from 125 
to 87. And then when they had announced their earnings, miraculously, the stock slowly started going up. That's all I'm telling you is when they can buy back their stock, the sell-offs are very shallow. Look at this when they couldn't buy back their stock, how sharp the sell-offs were. Notice here where they can buy back the stock, look how shallow these sell-offs are. That's exactly my point. So the moral of the story is when something can't buy back their stock and it has a bearish chart, that's a totally different idea. Then we can sit there and jump on the ideas of some shorts. Now, getting back to it about the ESs, remember on a weekly, we have three perspectives to look at real quick. Number one, weekly, overbought, right now and we're still under this ATR trailing stop. That's a danger sign, not a reason to massively short, but it's a danger sign. Daily, what do we have? Rally above every moving average, but negative divergence. Another little warning sign, but not across yet. This is the one I want you to watch this week. Put on the left, instead of a weekly, put a daily. Excuse me. And on the right, put a 78-minute chart. And what I want you to see in here is this line right here. Now, this is a bear wedge. Some people thought we broke it earlier last week. We didn't. What we're doing in here is we're coiling. We're coiling in this area right here. We're having these opposing forces here and here. Whole idea is usually the first break creates an oversold condition. It's always the quality of of the oversold rally to decide, you know, that comes up to kiss this trend, uh, this ATR trailing stop. It's always the quality of that to decide if we're going to have a bigger move on the downside. Right now, the verdict's still out, but this is what I'm going to be watching. Other thing we're going to be watching on the premium side, there were some dramatic changes in the uh, commitment of traders that I will be going over on the premium side. We talk all the time about which charts are the most important and what products are the most important regarding the commitment of traders report that's out every week by the CFTC. We're gonna be going over that. We're gonna be going over a sector that I think has a lot of stocks in it that might have the potential for an, uh, for an up move. So I hope uh, everybody can try to sign up. We have a $7 trial. Wanted to go to it so you could actually see the webpage. And we're going to, uh, let me go to it real quick. But we have a $7 trial for 30 days. Now, let me just tell you what that includes in here is you go in here. It's $7 for 30 days. But the other thing I want you to realize we have it in are things like this. Here's the, the stock trading videos for the free site. Now, what I want you to do, I'm not going to show you my login. That's so, super secret. But we're going to put in here. Let me put it in here. I want to show you that we're having this week, we're having another one of my seminars. And what we do in here, let me go to it so you can see it, is this. We're doing the video series continues. This is free. It's not an add-on. Wednesday, March 30th, which, uh, this Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.15, we're going to go over bull and bear flags, two of my favorite patterns, especially if you're in a slump. What you do is you just look for these. A lot of people I know, if this is all they would have done in their entire trading career is look for these, they would have come out a lot uh, more ahead than they are now. Whole idea on these, I usually say I'm going to talk for 10 or 15 minutes and open up the room and let people ask me questions. I end up usually explaining these patterns for like 45 minutes. But the thing is about this, it comes with your subscription. So if you sign up for the seven day, uh, the seven day, uh, dollar 30 day subscription, you get this video series. Now, what do I mean by that? Go over here and look at the premium videos. Then go over here and you get those every night and you go over the learning center and we have members classes. But look at all the ones we've had for free. Finding the right stocks, MACD, ATR trailing stop, moving averages. And then, like I said, this Wednesday, bull and bear flags. Those are just bonus things you get with your subscription. Other thing is you get an hour of a free chat with me before the opening. I've been doing it 34 years to have a site that charges only $79 for a live chat for an hour is unheard of in this business. So try to give us a, uh, a shout out. 
Try to sit and uh, take us up on the offer and see if you like it. Our retention rate has been gigantic because once you're in there, most people are finding it's a tremendous value and they make money from it. So everybody take care and I will talk to you tomorrow night.